Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Do you have a close friend? Someone you've confided in for months or years? Someone in your life who you can truly trust? Perhaps you two are friends, but you think you're starting to develop feelings for them? After all, being close friends can be the perfect foundation for a potential relationship in certain situations. Let's take a look at a few telltale signs of whether your affection for this special person is actually attraction. Number one, you spend the majority of your time with them. Spending a lot of time with this special person in your life really allows you to understand who they truly are, the different aspects that make them the person you care about so much. If you're starting to develop feelings for this person, you may go out of your way to spend time with them, getting to know them better and understanding their personality more. This level of closeness has a notable impact on relationships, whether they're platonic or romantic. According to the introduction to Social Psychology written by professor in psychology, Dr. Jennifer Croyle, proximity or physical nearness has been found to be a significant factor in the development of relationships. So if you find yourself spending more and more time with this friend of yours, it's likely that they could be more than just a friend. Number two, you think about them often. When you spend a lot of time with someone, you think about them often. This could be in the form of daydreaming or thoughts about them that keep coming to you during your day-to-day -day activities. Constantly thinking about your friend, reflecting on your conversations and time spent is a pretty worthy sign of attraction. Most of the time, these thoughts could just be running through your mind without you really noticing them. But even when you're not hanging out, you may feel a sense of connection to their presence. So the next time you find yourself mentally drawn to them, just think about whether they might be more than just a friend to you. Number three, you care about them deeply. Real attraction comes from genuine affection. You care about this person and try to be there for them when they're in need. You help pick them up when they fall. You're aware of the little things that bring them joy and know how to make them smile on a bad day. And they most likely would do the same for you. You have an inner intuition about how they may be feeling at any time, and you've built a great bond between the two of you. If you really, really care about your friend on a different level, it could mean that you're falling for this special person in your life. Number four, you're comfortable being vulnerable around them. Is this person your go-to during rough times? A shoulder to cry on? When you're really close to someone, you feel comfortable being vulnerable. You feel that they're your safe zone to vent out your feelings in the most honest way and express your inner concerns about basically anything under the sun. According to Carrie Krawick, a licensed marriage and family therapist, feeling safe, comfortable, accepted, and understood as a person is the root of attachment, connection, and intimacy. This deep level of intimate understanding can be a huge sign of something that goes beyond a platonic friendship. So pay closer attention to your vulnerable moments together. The way this person takes the time to listen to you and provides you guidance can mean a lot more than you would think. Number five. You care more about your appearance when you're with them. Do you find yourself being more conscious about how you look when meeting this friend? It's completely normal, a part of human nature even, to care about your appearance when you're attracted to someone. The level of attraction you feel towards someone can significantly impact this desire to appear particularly well-dressed. So if you find that you're especially concerned about the way you look when you're around this friend, you're likely more attracted to them than you would have thought. Number six you feel possessive over them. Humans are very territorial species. When there is any person, place, or thing that we value, we find the need to protect it at all costs. You may be interested in who they hang out with and what they're doing. Of course, this is only acceptable to a certain point. But if you feel particularly possessive about someone, you likely care about them. And if you care about someone to the extent that you feel so possessive about them, they're probably more than just your friend. Number seven, you dream about them. Dreams often signify or reflect your real life experiences. Although scientists, researchers, and philosophers alike have tried to crack the code on what they mean and why we dream, most agree that there is a relationship between dreaming and the subconscious mind. According to the late Dr. Charles McPhee, dreams are practical reflections of feelings and concerns that were present in your mind at the time you had the dream. He also adds, Dreams are selfish in the sense that they always concern issues and events that were weighing on your mind at the time you had the dream. 
So if you catch yourself waking up from a dream involving you and this good friend of yours together, it's your subconscious mind having fun with the inner truth. And number eight, you're very involved in their life. Last but not least, a huge sign that you're falling for your friend is if you're highly involved in their life. And no, not in an overbearing way, but in a way in which you just know what they're doing and going through at the moment. Their ups and downs, their past struggles, their current joys, you're usually part of everything, or at least aware of most of it. You go out of your way to make time for them, and you would drop everything to go see them if they need you. This could go beyond a platonic friendship. It could be a great start to a beautiful, sustainable relationship. So, did you relate to any of these signs? Remember, it's completely up to you regarding how you go about your personal relationships in life, friendships, or others. Make the best choice for yourself, because you know yourself best. As always, good luck with your journey. Did you find this video insightful? Tell us in the comment section below. Please like and share it with friends that might find value in this video too. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.